pace, uh, 152 for Garcia, and then Kipron will hopefully take them on another lap or so. There for me is the pre-race favourite. What a season Stuart McSwain of Australia is having, running personal best. What a race in Rome over 3,000 metres the other night. Kip Limo coming out on top with uh, Inge Britson and McSwain close by. US-based uh, Brit, James West in there, and then Solomon Borrega coming down to 1,500 metres, run a personal best recently at this distance. I mentioned Kip Ruto. Gregson uh, is still the Australian record holder, but will he lose it here tonight to McSwain? Jesus Gomez, two Spaniards in here who've made big jumps forward. Uh, the 29-year-old net down to 3.33. Fontes there is not six seconds of his best this year. Another young Brit, Copeland, who's having a very good season in Improving all the time, and Bethel Bergen, who knows this track very well indeed, has run very fast. The Kenyan, first time we've seen him this year. Uh, Kibet, also a great experience. Quite a lot of the Kenyan athletes. This is their first race of the year. As late as it is, it's the first opportunity they've had to come out and race. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, including Consulsus Kipruto. Not his event, of course. Steeplechase normally his event, and one or two others in here, including El Bacali. Uh, the tall figure right in the middle of the Moroccan, you'll recognise, but it's McSwain, I think, who will be the favourite. This pace has been asked for, is going to be pretty quick, we'll test some of those for whom this is not their speciality event, like Borrega, like El Bacali, like Kipruto, and McSwain, who likes... Uh, you know, he's, he's very, well, I would say, you know, he, he just gives it a go, doesn't he? He doesn't care about, will I be able to stay with it or not? He knows he's in great shape and already He's after the pacemakers, Bergen and Quebec realizing the danger and trying to get as close as they can. As they come through the first 300 meters and a very swift 40 at the front, 41-42 for McSwain. Yeah, he's in a rich vein of form, isn't he? Having a terrific season. That Australian record, by the way, held by Ryan Gregson, 331.06, just to mark your car. But uh, yeah, McSwain taking closer order and uh, hugging on the coattails of the uh, the pacemakers. 54.05, that's a little bit quicker than the 56 that was probably uh, required, so uh, yeah, it's lively. Driusch leading the pack and uh, Bergen and Quebec very, very close. But look at that lead there. That is uh, McSwain saying, this is uh, my attempt to go out. I mentioned that Australian record, he was very close to it. It's 331.06, Gregson further back in the field is the uh, Australian record holder, but Bergen is holding up the rest of the field. You know, Bergen hasn't been racing, and somebody back there has got to either go around him because they are going to just watch McSwain disappear. And as I say, that looks like uh, one of the Spaniards is moving up, and Elba Carly is moving up as well. Yeah, Gomez, I think, there, who's uh, just uh, trying to lead the pack. And there's a bit of a logjam, as you mentioned there, with uh, Bergen just holding everybody up. A lot of rust, perhaps, in some of these Kenyan legs having not raced at all this uh, this season. McSwain out in front then. The Australian setting his stall out. Bergen still leading the pack, but that's about a 25 meter lead. You just don't really see this in 1500 meter running. He's only got 550 meters to go. McSwain still looks good. He's hoping that Kiprona can keep going a little bit further. The charge will come afterwards. It's Elba Carly who's leading the pack at the moment, which is unusual to see. But it's McSwain who's come around to take the bell. James West has moved into second place. Bergen now trying to move out around the Moroccan, but they're miles behind McSwain who takes the bell. Well, 400 to go, McSwain has got this wrapped up. It's a question now of how close he can get to that Australian record. He'll know exactly what he needs to do. Reminder, 331.06, held by Ryan Gregson, who's further back in the same race. Yeah, the pace had uh, dropped a bit. He knows that. He's going to give it a go here, but 2.49, he's going to have to find a cracking last 300 metres to get close to that. Certainly possible, though, the way he's been running. He doesn't have great pace, but he's so strong. He gets Once he gets into his top running, he can maintain it really well. He's miles ahead of everybody else, just starting to tire a little bit as he comes around with 1.50 to go. The chase is on behind. Uh, looks like Berega chasing down, but look at McSwain. He's taken it to everybody else, said, right, try and stay with me. They weren't able to. Gritting his teeth, fighting for this. Can he get close to the Australian record? He's not going to be too far away. A few yards to go, and McSwain is going to take the win, and he's done it. 330.52. What a last 300 metres. Borrego led the charge. 
but McSwain, all of the plaudits go to him. He's done it all by himself. That is yet another Australian record. And by the way, he's the 10,000 meter record holder for Australia as well. So from 1,500 meters indoors, outdoors now, 3,000 meters and also 10,000 meters. What a year this man has had. He hasn't done all of those records this year. I think he's done two or three of them, certainly. So McSwain wins from Borrego with a big new personal best, the 5,000 meter man dropping down to into the under 333s. But uh, this is what I love, Chris. He, he completely and totally commits and says, right, if I want to run fast, I'm going to have to make it happen. I'm not going to rely on anyone else. I'm not going to wait, not going to hang around. Went with the pace, and then he took it on, and he's been rewarded with a brilliant time. And rightly so. Second Australian record in nine days. It's absolutely outstanding. And look at that, the margin of victory there, what, 25 metres plus with Perega coming through for a personal best. Terrific. Really courageous run there from McSwain. Absolutely right. Set his stall out right from the beginning. Knew exactly what he needed to do. Almost disregarded the rest of the field. There were no tactics involved. It was just him against the clock, and he's got his just reward. Personal best for James West in fifth behind him. Quite a few, in fact, all of the top five running personal bests in that race. <laughs> the others did it in a different way. He really had to find a big last 300, and he did it in fine style. 330.51. The new Australian record. Well, back to this.